Okay, now that I have put on some makeup and put my um, hair together, I'm going to talk to you guys about what I have in my hair because it's absolutely amazing and it's black owned um, and had most of my coffee. I think I'm going to go back for a second round because I didn't realize until I sat down and wrote out my to-do list um, just how much that needs to get done today. So, I have this extremely long to-do list. Um, it's not, I don't think it's like it's just a lot of like menial tasks. I still need to log on because I need to do a couple of hours on my corporate America job. This week is kind of like a dead week for me because it's the week leading up to closing. Um, you guys know that I'm in corporate accounting. So the first three or four business days of the month, um, we have to close the books. So it's a lot of reporting. It's a lot of billing. It's a lot of, it's a lot of numbers. So I need to do some small stuff to be prepared to be successful in that for next week. Um, I have on this white shirt because I'm actually about to take some, well, I'm about to log on because I have a conference call in a second. It has absolutely nothing to do with me, but I need to be on it. So while I'm on the call, I'm in this white shirt because I'm going to take some product shots um, of some of the new pieces that I got in. Guys, this, between this cross and then this eye, I don't know what I love more. Ugh, amazing. Love, love, love it. So I need to take some product shots to have those be um, on the site. Um, what else am I doing today? A couple of other random like errands. But the other big thing is, so in my book club, there was this um, fellow influencer who's, she's not really new starting out, but she's trying to like grow her following. So we're going to meet at an outdoor spot um, just for her to kind of like pick my brain. I actually don't have a problem with it. I get a lot of questions like, hey, do you do like mentorships? And I don't do that because I wish you guys realized how much was on my plate right now. Um, so I just physically don't think I can carve out the time to give a mentorship the uh, the time and the TLC that a mentorship should provide. I just, I, I wish I could. I just don't physically have the time with all of my different businesses that I'm trying to put into. Maybe one day, right now I'm not, but she asked, she's like, hey, can I just, let's just meet for drinks really quick and let's just chit chat for an hour. So I'm going to do that with her. Let me, let me stop talking and because I need to log on in like two minutes and let's do some product pick. Oh, really quick. I want to show you guys what's in my hair. So there is this girl um, that I've been following. I followed her when I first started out as a natural hair influencer, Curl Days. She has came out with a um, product line and I get so excited when natural hair influencers come out with natural hair products. It's like who better to trust than somebody who's been like taking time into the business. They know what a product is. They know what a product should feel. They know what a product should work. So I got her Curl Daze, D-A-Z-E collection. I have the Ultra Moisture Cream and then I have the Glossy Shine Gel and that is all that I have in my hair. This is a day one wash and go like I said love these products they actually might be my next um to go like go to wash and go so i will put that information in the site and then as far as my face i actually do have on some foundation i use the lip bar their fast face in color 4.05 they're known for lips sorry guys they're known for lips but they actually do have like a whole line of makeup so i use their foundation absolutely love it and then for my highlight, I am using Range Beauty. It's also a black woman-owned brand. I love that her name is also Alicia. Love it. Um, and so she has a highlight in called Golden Hour. So I also have that highlight on. So just a couple of black-owned brands for you guys to take a look at. I'll put all of that in the description box. Okay, so let me stop talking and let's let's shoot some product shots while we're... Let's multitask, shall we?
right, so I just got a couple of packages in the mail that I'm excited about. So just going to do like a little mini haul. I got um, three things from H&M. I shopped their sale and then four, actually five things, including the top that I have on. Not really sold on and I kind of wanted it to be bigger, but I this is the only thing I don't think I'm not going to like. And I just don't feel like going through all that to ship back. I think this was like six bucks. So let me turn the camera around and do like a really quick try on haul. And then um, I'm going to eat a very unhealthy lunch. I already know it. I, when I picked up at Trader Joe's, I knew that I was going to have it and that's okay. So let's do um, this try on haul really quick. All right. The first um, package is from Nasty Gal. It's including this little um, padded shoulder top. I was expecting, and it's a medium. So, I mean, it kind of fits big. Maybe I should have brought it I don't know. I the way I saw it on, I thought the padding comes out a little bit more. I don't like that it stops there. It looks too, it looks too padded. I'll probably wear it around the house, just kind of like to chill or lounge in. But don't know if I will ever wear it out. Um, right, like I said, I just got these out of the box, so please forgive me because these are very wrinkled. But this is what I envision the outfit like to wear out, and maybe it looks a little cuter because it's. I have it like knotted here. Um, absolutely love the pants. I got an eight because it said, you know, run big. And I'm kind of glad I normally wear a six, but this is my first time ordering from Nasty Gal. So I love these very lightweight. I don't think they're linen, but it is a lightweight feel. So definitely a summer. And then, like I said, this is just the top that I had on um, earlier. But yeah, I love the pants. I think they had them in like black and khaki. And I have a habit, if I like something, then I order all of the colors, so. All right, the next one is not anything like fancy. I just love that it was a nice shirt um, shirt dress. I did get it extremely oversized, so I normally wear, um, like I said, a six. I actually got this in a 12, and it is fairly big. I just I just wanted it to be oversized, and I didn't see that they had a, um, I didn't see a 10, so they actually had to get this out of the plus section but love it buttons all the way up you can be as you know sexy or modest as you feel but i love it and then it has the belt so i could undo the belt i don't think it'll look cute without the belt but you can definitely like undo the belt. oh it's actually not that bad you can undo the belt and then just kind of wear it out like this so if i have it like with the belt on i probably can wear it with basically any kind of shoe and then if I unbelt it I'll probably just like wear it with like some heels to kind of add a little pizzazz to it but thought this was a cute cute outfit me and Bear trying to get back into like going out outdoor restaurants only to kind of like eat dinner so once a week so I was just trying to get some weekly date night outfits not That's really it. sure how I feel about this um it is definitely super cute it's got like the ruching um up here and it's a black dress and it is length i just the so i'm trying to get into more wearing dresses there is a certain type of dress that i like there are certain type of dresses that i like to see on people but not necessarily on me so this is that type of dress where i love to see it people are wearing dress like this with like sneakers and so i want to get into the trend so i got it this was on sale that's the only reason why i got it i would have not paid full price for something but I'm just going to wear it I'm going to put sneakers on and I'm going to see just like how how I like it um but I love it overall like it's a cute dress I just immediately we put on sandals with this and call it a day but I've seen people are trying to do like the sneaker trend you see all those sneakers down there that I've got all those I'm trying to wear those I think I might even put on my light arch trainers with this one to see if it works so so this is normally like the dress that I go for. I love this. I actually had to buy it big. I normally wear a medium in H&M dresses. This one was on sale and all they had was a large. So I might actually just like cinch it at the waist so it looks like a hat. It looks like I have a little bit of shape, um, but I love it. It's green. I'm trying to get into more. I like to wear more greens in the summertime. So love it. It's kind of giving me like a satiny feel. Very lightweight, but definitely something. See, I like to do this. So, yes, guys, of course, you know, I'm going to get always get a white shirt. I always buy white. Look at look up there. Um, So this is just a white oversized shirt that I got from H&M. I love it because it was lightweight. Um, So as you can clearly tell, it's definitely lightweight. You can see my black bra that goes through it. But guys, I just there's something so chic about a I have it tucked in. But there's something so chic about a white shirt. Like there's a white shirt and it's a button up and it's on sale. I'm definitely going to do it I'm buy it because there's like so and maybe I should do a video on like all the ways I wear my white button up but it's just like 
you can tuck it here you can knot it there's there's so many things so yeah plain white shirt it was on sale I don't remember what size I got. I think I got a large because I wanted oversized, even though it already said oversized. So that's my little that's my little haul. Um, yeah. Let's get some lunch. Soft pretzels. So exciting. Luckily, one is only 220 calories, so it's not that bad. And I did not have breakfast. So all I did was I had my iced coffee. So I'm gonna get this and then for a little bit of protein, I am going to um, cook up. Are you looking at me? You wanna, you wanna have a pretzel with me? Yeah. Sausage. What? Connect a sausage and- pretzel? Yeah. What else was It's a hearty meal with some cheese sauce. No, I'm about to make it now. Okay. I'm. What time is your hair cut? Yeah, I'm. I'm about to do it right now. Looks like we're having the same lunch, so let's speed this up while I cook for both of us. five o'clock um so i have a little while before i have to get up what is my hair doing <laughs> um before i have to get up and throw on some clothes to go meet um one of my friends for some drinks but work got busier than i anticipated what is uh forget it work got busier than i anticipated so um i didn't really show any of that it was just me on a computer or me on the phone or me doing both um and then i needed to send a couple of um a couple of pitches to a couple of brands i have just recently started doing pitching like in the last probably since the top of the year it wasn't really something that i did before i was extremely nervous because i didn't it was hard for me to say hey i like the brand um, or I love the brand. I think me and the brand should collaborate. I think you should pay me to X, Y, and Z. It, just, it took me a little bit getting um, getting used to it, but now it's like I wouldn't say second nature because I still it still takes a little bit of time. Oh, is what you get. It still takes a little bit of time for me to because um, I like to tailor. Please don't send like this blanket template. Um, I like to tailor my email to what I'm more like the brand that I'm working with or the brand that I want to work with, like what products I've so basically I'm tailoring it. So that took me a little bit of time. I needed to send two of those. Um so basically what I'm doing now, and I normally do this like the last couple of days of the month, is I print out um a couple of calendars. I'm a very I'm a very pen and paper person. I think that's maybe still some of the millennial in me we like to I used to write and so I'm very pen and paper so basically what I do is I have the calendar for the next and I do two months ahead of time I also need to get a pen I'm in a pencil because I have a bunch of pens hold on a second yes I still have on my very wrinkly <laughs> white shirt but I like to write out um, if there are any collaborations that I have that are due. Um, like if I have to post, a lot of times when you're working with brands, they give you days that you have to post. So if I know I have to post this time, I'm going to do that. I also, for those, I also put them in my phone so that I don't forget, like if I'm here um, and I forget to take this with me. So I'll put that on there. I also will schedule out what youtube video i'm going to publish and then what blog posts i'm getting back into writing blogs i kind of got i wouldn't say sidetracked but i kind of shifted because i'm also trying to write a book um so i am having to shift and i've been spending most of my time with that which is just basically like a shit show because i'll write a chapter and i'll be like this is trash and i'll throw it away we'll see what we get with that my goal was to write my first novel before I was 40. So I've got, I've got plenty of time. I gave myself an ample opportunity. So this is just basically my social media calendar. I'm going to write down blog posts. I'm going to write down YouTube videos. I'm going to write down Instagram stuff. Um, 
just basically everything and it's all in like this one this one spot and so I have um, this book and it's just basically a general journal you can get it from anywhere I think I got this from I think I even got this I don't know probably TJ Maxx something I don't remember and all of my ideas like if I am I don't know if I'm out somewhere or if I'm reading another blog post or if I'm reading something or I'm scrolling Instagram and I have inspiration that I think would be a good blog post or would be a good YouTube YouTube video I immediately put it either in my phone or if I have this I'll immediately write it down and that way I can reference so I'm never out of ideas and I'm always have something to be able to record and edit so I'm gonna quit talking really quick I need to fill this in um, I think I'm going to wear that nasty gal outfit that I showed you guys the um, I'm gonna try to wear the gray shirt with the green pants if not I think I'm just gonna do a white shirt because you know me and white we like we're Kendrick spirit so I'm gonna finish this really quick and then um, I'm right down the road I'm literally five minutes away benefits of living downtown <laughs> so let me hurry up and um and finish this up all right so guys this is the outfit i went with the nasty gal pants that i had but of course i went with a white v-neck um instead and then just some old season vince camuto sandals at six o'clock on the dot so let me rush to get to my destination The place was really nice it just um and we sat outside but i can tell at about like 7 30 it kind of got like crowded and that's why i don't go on the weekends because even though it's outside and it's six foot distancing it's just it was a little too crowded for me so we left and so i've been back here took off my makeup and i'm just like chilling and relaxing the nba started back today so i'm periodically looking up at it i'm not interested in this season anymore i'm just not um i'm gonna spend the better part of my day i took off all my makeup and i'm glowing because i have on like all the oils <laughs> um i'm gonna finish reading my book we'll start reading our new book club book allegedly i showed these guys to you earlier and then my new magazine black woman owned um it's not really a magazine it's like a zen so it's like a self-care um, workbook in a sort um, that I got from a fellow blogger called Vic Vic Styles. I will put her information in the description box. Um, so I kind of wanted to read through this. I got this in the mail today. So that's all. It's going to be a very chill, very low key type night. So that is my day. I was supposed to work out today. Didn't feel like it. I lifted heavy on Tuesday and it's starting to get to me I'm starting to feel it and then me and husband went on a four mile hike yesterday and I came home and did upper body workout so I just need to like chill out today because I have to get up tomorrow morning and walk run jog crawl skip five miles <laughs> tomorrow so I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the night hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog I'm gonna try to make sure I do vlogs at least like two or three times throughout the month let's just say two times throughout the month uh, just to kind of give you guys more insight into like my personal day-to-day -day life I hope you guys have enjoyed these I'm gonna go so I can catch up on my reading guys don't forget to check out all of my other videos like comment subscribe thumbs up this video so I know that you like stuff like this and I'm gonna catch you guys later bye